Tiger Fantasy alumni, family, and friends. Sit back, enjoy, and relive that memorable week in February that we spent in warm, sunny Lakeland, Florida. Captured Live Productions and the Sports Fantasies duo, Jim Price and Jerry Lewis, present the 1989 Tiger Fantasy Video, featuring over a dozen former Detroit Tigers. Special appearances and narration by Ernie Harwell, the voice of the Detroit Tigers, and your friends and ours, the 1989 Fantasy Campers. Over to you, Jim. Well, the Tigers have started the 89 season with a roar, but your season started back in February at Sports Fantasy Camp 6. For most of you, this was a new sensation. Lakeland, Florida, Holiday Inn Central, Henley Field, Marchant Stadium, warm weather, baseball heroes, playing ball, learning tricks of the trade, and day in and night, good times. We checked in at the Holiday Inn Central on Monday afternoon and soon assembled for orientation, where we met the former Tigers who would be our coaches and comrades for the week. After campers introduced themselves to the group, it was off to Henley Field for team tryouts. Later that night, the rosters of six teams were posted, and starting Tuesday morning, we were playing baseball. moments let's turn back the hands of the clock to 1968 the year of the tiger and the wind up and the pitch he swings a line shot base hit right field the tigers win it here comes k line to score and it's all over don works singles the tigers mob don k line has scored the fans are steaming on the field and the tigers have won their first pennant since 1945 let's listen to the bedlam here at tiger stadium What a climax to a wonderful year, the year of the Tiger, 1968. This pennant, what a great gift to Detroit, with love from the Tigers. Go get them, Tiger. Wow. We're all behind our baseball team. Go get them, Tiger. Series bound and picking up steam. Go get them, Tiger. There'll be joy in Tiger Town. We'll sing you songs when the Bengals bring the pennant home where it belongs. We're all behind our baseball team. Go get them. Detroit Tigers. Go get them, Tiger. Good weather prevailing, we socialized outdoors with a good old-fashioned barbecue with plenty to eat and drink. After the first full day of game play, the coaches were able to witness their team's capabilities. Here's what they had to say. The best ball games, the best weather, all the coaches said the same thing. It's just been phenomenal. Hey, I thought we had some great ball games today. For, you know, the first day, you got to realize that we all been sitting around all winter, haven't played ball for, you know, for quite a while, and I thought they went quite well. 
Wordy and I are owing too, but there's an old saying, guys. You guys that won today, a bird shits fast, don't shit long. <laughs> We're waiting for our team to shit. Hopefully not all over themselves. But we're going to show up, we're going to beat somebody's ass. I don't know who it is, but we're going to beat somebody before this is over. You know, I'm a terrible loser. We lost two games today, and I hate it. You're getting better. <laughs> and, I, and, you know, tomorrow, teammates, uh, good luck to you. I will say that John had control of the team today. <laughs> no, I won't do that. <laughs> but we're hanging in there. Tomorrow's a new day. We'll get them tomorrow. Don and I figured we would lose two games, so we got those out of the way real We're quick. <laughs> <laughs> we showed them today that uh, we could take, come from behind in the first game. We got beat, but we did come from behind. Second game, we showed them that we could take a big lead and blow it. <laughs> but even the Tigers did that from time to time. If you folks have any money, and you like money, bet on Team 6 to go all the yeah, way. Yeah. I'm going to tell you that. We had kind of a rough start today ourselves. We had a couple of our pitchers who are usually pretty reliable. Of course, this is the first day. They couldn't throw strikes. <laughs> I was very impressed with my ball club today. I had four pitchers, went out, pitched four innings, threw strikes. We won a ball game. Well, I'll say one thing. I was real proud of our team today. And uh, whoever says ladies can't play the game is wrong. Because I gave up five draft picks for Kim Drew. She got the game-winning RBI. I mean, our team was superb. And uh, we, we think we got a lot of talent. And the only thing that could hold us back is uh, Gator and I, and so we decided we're not going to show up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we come up through it with a bunch of winners. Extra BP, extra hard workers. What do you think? I think that I was very proud of our guys. In fact is, I was impressed <clears throat> by the whole group. I liked the way you played. You all gave it your best. One of the main ingredients that make each sports fantasy camp a success is the relationship between the Tigers and the campus. Words cannot express the gratitude we share for these fine examples of baseball talent and friendship. The next song is dedicated to the Tigers of Fantasy Camp 6 with a little help from my friends.
Wednesday evening's special activity was autograph night, where we brought baseball paraphernalia to be signed by our favorite stars. It was great to be a Tiger fan with a Georgia peach and Wahoo Sam. They won the pennant three years in a row. Then Heilman led the squad, batting titles in years that were odd. Brick Stadium always had a hitting show. I'm talking baseball. Hank and Charlie slugging. Tiger baseball. Schoolboy did the chucking. Goose Goslin made opposing pitcher scream. Then Georgie Kelly came upon the scene. I'm talking baseball. The Motor City team. Well, Hal and Dizzy set him down, and K-Line won the batting crown the year before he had the right to vote. Charlie Maxwell's Sunday fun, Denny's year of 31. The sailing was great in 68 on the series boat. Talking baseball, Rocky, Norman, Willie, Tiger baseball. McCall of Gates and Billy, Bruton, Heff, and freehand Harvey Keene. Bullich in the series winning three I'm talking baseball The Motor City's team Later that evening, I was proud to pass on the Man of the Year Award to John Hiller. I know a long time ago, we learned to spell relief, H-I-L-L-E-R, long before the other guys that came in because he was a, a great inspiration to the Tigers great relief pitcher, big man in the bullpen, but more than anything else, I think he showed us that uh, he's got a great heart, and uh, he is a real comeback guy. And I don't know of any Tiger that deserves this award any more than John Hiller. John? As the days progressed, some of the campers realized they weren't in as good shape as they thought. Sports fantasies encourages an early start to getting in shape prior to spring training. Workouts on the field before games and the caution exercised by the coaches, knowing our limits, kept down some of the discomfort, but regardless, they kept you running. During the day, we saw a specific kind of activity on the field. The evening brought a definite relaxation in alternate types of activities. The video crew attempted to follow Rosma and his teammates one evening, but just couldn't keep up with the pace. So we ended up at Holiday Inn Nightclub, where the crowd was pretty active and definitely having a good time.
Now this year, PASS, Michigan's Pro-Am Sports Cable Station, spent three days videotaping Fantasy Camp 6 for two feature programs. Interviews with Marty Adler, game footage, and a visit to the camp store were just a few of the highlights seen on PASS. A big part of the Sports Fantasy Camp is located far from the playing field. Right here in the hotel, a special room. It's the Sports Fantasy Pro Shop. Now, Mel Hoberman is in charge. Mel? Mel, come here. Marty. Yeah, so we're hiding in the closet. Is that what are you always in the closet? Not always in the closet. And that's the next door room, right? Right. Why do you have the Sports Fantasy Pro Shop? Why is this shop here? Well, it really started a couple years ago when people would ask us about certain things that they were missing. For example, sanitary socks, extra hats, stirrups, and so on. So we started carrying a few items, and before you know it, one thing led to another, and Boy, well, now we have a big shop. Now you got a business here during the four or five days that all the campers are here. Correct. Okay, now tell me, what have you got? Take me around. Well, everything from pictures of the ball players, uh, Hank Aguirre, for example, um, to watches, plaques, uh, different types of jackets, <clears throat> sweat outfits, shirts. Um, over, over in this area, we have hats and sanitary socks. Just a combination of several different items. Things for some of the guys or ladies that participate to even take home to the wives and children. The Tiger stuff that you have here, is it all official? Not all official, but parts of it are. All right, okay, and these things are actually out of necessity, you've got a lot of this stuff. Actually, Marty, it's true. A lot of these things are out of necessity, and the guys enjoy it. Uh, it's something that they look forward to, and it even becomes a place where a lot of the guys congregate during the week. Mel, you're such a salesman. Marty, you owe me $263. Send me a bill. Okay. During the baseball season, Pass broadcast over 70 Tiger games with none other than our very own Jim Northrup as announcer. Toward the weekend, the Tiger coaches, now much more knowledgeable about their teammates and their abilities, were able to deliver these optimistic predictions, comments, and views. Well, this is our sixth camp that Jerry and I put on, and I have to say that this year probably has more talent. It's interesting, we have a more of a mixed breed. We have younger kids, and we have some older fellas. But the talent is probably overall a little bit better than we've ever had. The enthusiasm is even greater, and I think that kind of tells you what's going on with the fantasy camps. I think that people are hearing about it, they're working out, they're getting in shape before they get down here, and that's one of the reasons the talent's just a little bit better. Next year it'll even be better than that. Hey, we're having a wonderful time here in Florida. My team's not doing that well, but uh, we're up and coming. We're going to be a spoiler here somewhere. All right, well, we're having a great time down here in fantasy camp six, I think is what it is. But uh, no, the, the, the weather's been great, and everybody's doing a great job down here. We've got a great team. Our team is number six, and we expect to win fantasy camp number six. But uh, no, all the guys are doing great. Uh, we've had some great times down here with the barbecues and the cookouts, and uh, Rosie telling his some of his stories, and, and uh, Calavito, and, and all the rest of the guys that are down here. And, uh, we just look forward to having a good camp, and uh, the weather's great, and hope you, hopefully you guys can come down and visit us. I'm uh, learning some new types of uh, baseball strategy. These uh, guys are showing me new style of play, I should say. Having a good time. I'll tell you what, right now, Team 5, they're winners. They come out here. We didn't know we had at the beginning. we got guys that can hit, take, field, run. They play good, they're having a bunch of good times. They can drink beer, that's my boys. And we got the finest cheerleaders in camp. <laughs> yeah, big guy. Okay, okay. Right, right. Well, to start out with, this has been an excellent Let's camp. Go, uh, we got a great bunch of guys, and uh, when you get 100 guys together like this and they're having such a good time, and the camaraderie is fantastic, and, uh, go, and the competition and the competitiveness of the camp, it's just, it's just fantastic, and it's, uh, it's, it's so nice to be here. The weather's been outstanding. And, uh, and uh, uh, I'm just enjoying myself, and I know these guys are also. We're going to continue to do this, and, uh, and I think everybody here, including the photographers and, uh, and the coaches and, uh, and the people that run the camp, uh, Jerry and, uh, and Jim Price, I think uh, they're doing a great job. We're all having a lot of fun. Well, so far down here, the camp's going pretty well. We had first couple of days, we had good weather. 
Last, the day is kind of a little on the chilly side. It's like spring training, but uh, overall, it had too many. Ain't no too many guys got hurt or anything, but everybody enjoying himself. And uh, they said last year was, would have been the best camp we had, but I like this way we got to set up this year. Everybody got their own team and everybody enjoying things. Well, my team is look like we might go up two games today, so I hope so. Now, so far this year, uh, you know, it's been a little better than last year. We we started off. Uh, Struggling the first day, which I anticipated the pitchers would be a little wild, and uh, we had a little clinic down there, uh, Rosama, Wilcox, and myself, and we told the pitchers just to relax and throw strikes. And uh, since that day on, the uh, the ball games have gone a lot quicker. The the pitching has been outstanding. There has been very few walks, and uh, the camp has gone great. There hasn't been any injuries, which is very important down here. Uh, the weather has changed and give us a little spurt of uh, energy after the three hot days, and uh, we look forward to a great playoff tomorrow. A great championship game tomorrow night, and then, of course, Saturday, everybody's looking forward to the campers playing the Tigers. Well, uh, it was unusual when we first got down here to see the see the sun shining so bright, and uh, and uh, we were all able to get around the pool for the first time in a couple of years, and that was great. Uh, the injuries have been down, and that's probably because we've been able to soak in the pool a little bit more. And uh, uh, my personal team, team number two, is a good ball club. As we go into today's game, we've, we're two wins and uh, one tie. And if I don't overcoach, maybe we'll have a shot at getting in the playoff game. But uh, it's another great camp. Uh, we're all enjoying it. Well, I think we made some mistakes in the draft. Uh, we got a pretty weak team here, and we're having a lot of trouble. But they're pretty good guys. We just had to give them a, a we had to give threaten them a little bit last night, and they're playing much better today. And we have a good chance to win. And I've, I've got confidence in these guys. I think they're going to come back and win. If they don't, they may not get back to home, wherever it is. Or if they do, we may put them on a Greyhound or we may make them walk. we we'll tear up their plane reservations. But all in all, it's a good camp with a great bunch of guys as usual. Fourth inning. Uh, it's certainly nice to be back here in Lakeland. You know, I haven't been back here since 1953. And just a few minutes ago, I walked down to the clubhouse and see where my old stall was. And so it brings back a lot of things that uh, we did here since 1939. As far as the camp here is concerned, I'm really enjoying myself because uh, these fellas come down. They're, uh, some of them are my age, some of them are younger, some of them are older. And, and to get them together and, and play games like we're playing, I think it's just super. And... Uh, our camp here is just great. The, the, the accommodations here at, at Lakeland has always been the same since I've been here in 1939. And I thank you for inviting me here, and good luck to all of you. Uh, it's been a very good camp so far. We have a couple of real good ball teams down here. Uh, last year, I was an assistant manager with um, Dick McAuliffe, and uh, our season was 0-6, and, and McAuliffe didn't come back. And this year I've been made a manager in McAuliffe's place. And uh, at the time of doing this tape, our team has uh, three wins under their belt. So I think that uh, maybe I'll get to come back next year. Uh, I've been doing a little work down here this year with a radar gun. I've been timing the speed that some people throw the ball. I have had some impressive speeds of 71 miles an hour. But on Wednesday, I got a clocking of 85 miles an hour, which uh, totally shocked me until I realized it was Gates Brown going after the fried chicken. And uh, so that's the highest speed I've had recorded all the time down. I've been down here. It's been a good camp. We've had great weather. Had a little cool weather on Thursday, but who cares? I mean, it's been great. A lot of guys have been having fun. Nobody's been hurt. And I've enjoyed being down here with all you campers and hope you come back again. Well, I was commissioner last year, and I thought it was the best run camp they ever had, and I'm sure they're never going to be able to top it. Although Hiller, I understand, is a very good commissioner, but uh, I don't know whether he can make the tough decisions like I did. But uh, I enjoyed being the commissioner, and uh, again, uh, I hope everybody's having a good time. Uh, this is my first camp, and it's a pleasure for me to be here and meeting all the uh, fantasy campers, and I'm just having a ball down here for my first trip, and I just hope that they invite me back. I want to do a good job, and it's more fun than I've ever had in my life. Uh, that's about all I have to say. You know, everyone seemed to be enjoying themselves. The competition is real good this year. There's a lot of close ball games, and it's just fun overall. The weather's really been great. It's a little chilly today, though, but it's supposed to warm up by our game by Saturday, and I'm looking forward to playing the campers and seeing if I still got the old swing left. And it's been a thrill for me, who I really consider myself a camper, to be here and meet Joe Ginsburg again, who I met some 30 years ago, and 
to be out here again with Willie Horton and Al Kaline and, of course, my partner Jim Price. And It was a great camp for us, and we had that uh, Dave Rosema out here and Johnny Grubb, and it's nice to have new people join us and, of course, the old standards like Wirt. And it was, uh, it was a wonderful camp. And we were also pleased to have such noteworthy sports figures as Lefty Wilson, former Red Wing trainer who tended our injuries, and Fred Smith, who amazed us with his vast knowledge of Tiger trivia. Saturday in the park, or in this case, Marchant Stadium, the whole week we were treated like and felt like a major leaguer. And to top it off, to be playing our comrades, coaches, and heroes in the same stadium where the 89 Tigers would be playing during the spring training in less than a month was like a dream come true. Saturday evening for the awards banquet, looking our best together with family, friends, and sore muscles. Each camper received a trophy and certificate, as well as congratulations and applause from their coaches and teammates. Each camper's name was also added to the Domino's Cup on display at Domino's headquarters in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I'm so tickled to come down here and uh, enjoy the hospitality and the company and, and I hope someday I can come back again. And I hope you can come back again. So my many thanks for bringing back all the memories and uh, I can look forward for the rest of my life and thank you. I'll tell you, it's been a great camp. Uh, I'm very happy that I've got to come down and, 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 and uh, be with you guys again. We've got a lot of new guys here. You can see why I was just going through a deal. There's like 30 guys that repeated. 30% repeat every year. I'm really excited about being here and seeing Hal Newhauser again. Uh, we're very close friends. Uh, I think he made me cry as well as himself, but um, he's a great guy and uh, in my opinion ought to be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, we've... we've uh, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I only hope that I can come back again and I, I'm having a ball with each and every one of you. Thank you very much. All together, it was just the best time we could ever have. And uh, we'll see you all next year. Well, if you love baseball, and certainly if you're a Tiger uh, fan, this is, this is great. And uh, it's always a lot of fun. And, and the way you can uh, tell it's a lot of fun, you get people coming back year after year. And uh, certainly they're not going to come back unless they're having a lot of fun. We want to thank you. We want to welcome you to the, you're a real fantasy camper now. And you're in the club. And we love you, and here's to you. Thank you. Farewells and continuing friendships were commonplace as Fatty Camp 6 came to a dramatic end, only to be revived throughout the year at alumni activities. As a final remembrance of Fatty Camp 6, special presentation of MTV, that's Music Tiger Video, 
featuring scores of talented sports figures performing the song Center Field. What a pleasure to have the bosses, the maestros of the fantasy camp, Jim Price and uh, Jerry Lewis. And have you guys had a good time? Wonderful time. This is the best camp we ever had. Who's been doing all the work? Well, it's uh, about 50-50, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> That's why we do this so good every year. We know our own jobs. We know what we have to do. And, of course, the 100 campers that come here every year make it easier on us. Now, this is the largest uh, group you've ever had, isn't it, Jerry? Yes, uh, we're real proud of this group. Uh, as you know, we do something else basically for a living, so we don't want to uh, take more than we can handle. And uh, it's a lot of work for Jim down here because there's very little I can do to really help him with the on-the-field operation. Well, now, what about the future of the uh, fantasy camp? Are you going to keep on doing it? Or are you going to increase it? Are you going to have two a year? Or what, what are your plans now? It's Jim? interesting. J.P. McCarthy said the other day on the air, he said, you know, I thought when you guys first started this camp, you could do it three, four years. He said, the way it looks, you guys are going to do another 30 years. Mm -hmm. And we feel the same way. We don't see an end to what we're doing, and we even see bigger possibilities with maybe even two camps. So mm -hmm. that's really the, the way we're thinking, bigger and better. And another development that you've had that's been very interesting, uh, Jerry, is the reunions in the summertime. Isn't that unbelievable? We get together uh, with the group uh, 
We have the magazine that comes out once a month. We have the luncheons uh, m a monthly. And of course, we go to Tiger Stadium with about 300 guys. And we have the wives and sweethearts dinner. And uh, it's just run beautifully. Like Jim says, our motto is, it's not a week, it's a lifetime. And when you started out, you concentrated pretty much on the 68 team. But you've gone away from that, and now you've dip back a little farther in Tiger history, haven't you, Jim? That's right. For obvious reasons, we started out with, with a 68 team, but this year we brought Hal Newhauser, who was a great pitcher in the 40s and 50s. In fact, won the MVP award two years in a mm -hmm. row. Then we also uh, came a little younger. We came up with Dave Rosema and Johnny Grubb uh, from the 84 team. So next year we may even talk to Mark the Bird Fidrich and George Kell. So you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> well, I tell you one thing, uh, Rose has been a great addition because just about everybody I've interviewed said Dave Roseman showed me all the hot spots around town. <laughs> yeah, that, that's one of the reasons it's good. There's a nice social life to our camp and we're, we're excited about that. And of course, we love having you here and we appreciate all the time you spend and uh, having you for the week is, is a thrill for all of us fans. Well, it's a pleasure for me and I tell you that the comment I get most of all, uh, Jim, is that the, the guys that come down here as a campus, they so appreciate these Tigers because the guys are down to earth with them there's nothing high hat, nothing standoffish, and they just can't believe that these guys are so nice. Well, Ernie, uh, not just these guys, but Ernie Harwell. Ernie Harwell is our number one Tiger uh, <laughs> fantasy camper, and all the guys that played ball, they're, they're no different than anybody else. And guys like Jerry, who put these fellows on a pedestal, they put them on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. But really, we don't belong on a pedestal. No. We're like everybody else, sure. and you know that, because sure you've been yeah. around them all, right. all your lives. In fact, when you're out of the game a little bit, you even appreciate things a little bit more. It's nice for us to put the uniform on. It's nice for us to play catch, and it's nice to be asked for it to sign an autograph again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fun for everybody, and I think it's a great endeavor. I want to congratulate you guys on your success, and I want to tell you both that we've been giving away four shine shoes, All and right. the guys are going to come over to Mel Sports Shop and pick them up. <laughs> oh, <sounds terrific. laughs> we just went bankrupt. <laughs> All right. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. Why does it only seem to be in the middle of the night? You told me there's a number I can always dial for assistance. I don't wanna do it outside action. Only you can get the satisfaction. It's just a fantasy. The best group. The best ball games, the best weather, all the coaches said the same thing. It's just been phenomenal. Tomorrow night, Sports Fantasies and the Holiday Inn will be providing for you from 5.30 to 7 o'clock all the hors d'oeuvres and all the drinks on them and on us. So have a real good time tomorrow night. It's all on the Holiday Inn and on Sports Fantasies. How about that? How about that? The partnership just broke up. I didn't know about that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. Hey. Oh. Hey. I was going to catch a fair hand and I thought I'd play. One more. Yes. Catch. Go like he used to on before. Come on. Sit down, Mel. No, get out of the way. No. You're not picking up the hitter. You're picking up the hitter instead of the glove. Come on. It takes a lot, Lee. Get it, Mel. Tony, hang on a little longer now. I want to get Jerry's lollipop. No problem. Atta boy. Atta boy, right there. Put it out in front of you. Don't try to overthrow. I throw it right down in there. Chicken again?
Chicken again? Is that all they serve here? All the drinks and the hors d'oeuvres are on sport. Even Jerry Lewis takes the jacket off his back for his good buddy, Jim Price. Let me see that jacket again. Well, this has been uh, probably the uh, best camp we've ever had, and it's been a thrill for me, who I really consider myself a camper, to be here and meet Joe Ginsburg again, who I met some 30 years ago, and to be out here again with Willie Horton and Al Kaline and, of course, my partner Jim Price. And it was a great camp for us, and we had that uh, Dave Rosema out here and Johnny Grubb, and it's nice to have new people join us, and, of course, the old standards like Wirt. And it was, uh, it was a wonderful camp, and uh, I want to thank all my assistants, Mel Hoberman and Alan Slutsky, for contributing so much, and Lee Short with the great job he does, and of course Buzz Holtzman, and all together it was just the best time we could ever have. And uh, we'll see you all next year. Well, this is our sixth camp that Jerry and I put on, and I have to say that this year probably has more talent. It's interesting, we have a more of a mixed breed. We have younger kids, and we have some older fellas, but the talent is probably overall a little bit better than we've ever had. The enthusiasm is even greater, and I think that kind of tells you what's going on with the fantasy camps. I think that people are hearing about it, they're working out, they're getting in shape before they get down here, and that's one of the reasons the talent's just a little bit better. Next year, it'll even be better than that. <laughs> just that much more, baby. Just that much more. That's it what was, we needed. It was a close play, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. 32 steps. You want to know? I saw Pappy's ribs last year. Yeah. I didn't have the heart to do it. I didn't have the heart to run into it. He's a nice guy. You mean Pappy's a nice guy? I want Pappy. I have one of these. What? Yeah, I'll just put this in Jerry's personal tape. I see his face. What do you think, Hey, keep it going. Uh, get a nice pit. Yeah, you get a nice pit. Spray the number. Let him just spray it. Get in. 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 Get Jerry. As a co-owner of Sports Fantasies, I have to tell you that you're the best woman athlete that we've ever had to, at the camp, and this is our sixth camp, and I think that's a good a compliment as I can pay you. Not only are you, the, are you the best athlete, but you certainly have the best personality. Everybody's just loved you and just done a fantastic job. Thank you, Jim. You're I've welcome. had a wonderful time here. It shows. <laughs> <laughs> we have a pair of... Uh, I'll just say we love you all and thank you so much for being with us and we'll see you next year. Thank you.